I've recently upgraded the graphics hardware in my Alpha Station 255300 from the Oxygen 202 to the PowerStorm 4D60T. The 4D60T was pretty much the best graphics offering from digital at the time when this machine was current. So it'll be interesting to see how it performs as the 202 only offered me sub 1 frame per second when trying to run Quake 2 in a GL mode. So let's see how this card performs in comparison. First things first, before I do anything else, I'm going to bring up the system's performance window. These are the graphic settings that I'm going to be using for the test. To get a proper readout of the system's performance in frames per second, you go into the console and the first line you type in is time demo space one. And then on the second line you type in map space demo1.dm2 I do apologize as to how Dark Quake 2 appears here but it's unfortunately how the camera is picking up the screen the game is running at the correct brightness level though So it rendered 689 frames in 68.6 .6 seconds, which gives us 10 frames per second at 800 by 600. Let's try running it in a slightly lower resolution to see what we get. I think I'll run it at 640 by 480. seems to be running a bit faster.
This time it rendered 689 frames in 55.1 seconds, giving us 12.5 frames per second. This is plus minus a 20% improvement over the 10 frames a second it was giving us at 800 by 600. To end off, I'm quickly going to show you the graphics settings that I was using. Okay, so the graphics type is a PowerStorm 4D 60T, and it is currently running at a resolution of 1280 by 1024, and it has 16 megabytes of texture memory installed. And again, the desktop area is running at 1280 by 1024, and it's running in a true color mode. Next, going into settings and looking at the display type, it is a digital PowerStorm 4D. 60T and the driver that it's using was released in 1998 and it's version 3.5.0. This concludes my performance demonstration of Quake 2 on an Alpha Station 255 300 equipped with a 4D 60T graphics card. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks very much for watching.